as well, just really before I get with this Powertrain VFD. But now when I go to use it, for some reason they're getting the uh, EPG fault. EPG. I can't seem to find what an EPG fault is, so it just says in the manual it's an EPG fault. But how do I uh, rectify that? That's what I want to know. I can't send a phone to Google about that. This is EPG, whatever EPG is. I can't send a file in the book. My other from from set to 100 hertz minimum, so it's not going to go any faster than that. I just change it. Uh, yeah, other than that, I just change the perimeter to 100 hertz maximum speed. Everything else I never touched I was working fine. Now all of a sudden I got an EPG fault. Let's go um, slow the motor right down, see if it makes a difference, because that didn't actually make the motor any faster. Let's go on one hurt. Nah. Still does it. Didn't even change the speed of the motor. Setting that uh, frequency. Hmm, is that what I do with the frequency setting or something, is it? I'll put it on air, but pull the motor. 361 volts is putting out. FF E. Did a quick Google search in the book, but I just can't see what the EPG fault actually is. Everything else I've seen, I figured out the. Uh, um, I don't know if it's in any of the F, it's all, the, the perimeters are different on this, they're in different groups. Uh, I here. I did a factory reset on it and it didn't change anything. Factory reset did nothing. I think Y is the motor group, uh, B, the B group is all the motor perimeters specific to the motor. C is for other different things, E. Voltage curves and all that sort of stuff. U, H, O, F is your frequency related stuff. Like your maximum frequency and your base frequency and your intermediate frequency settings are all on this same menu here. This is all your f frequency related stuff here. 43, uh, uh, 50 in that categories in that group you can uh, adjust. As I said, I've done a factor reset on it just to fix everything up or any mistakes it may have made. Now, it did do a factor reset, but it still does this thing when it goes to run the motor. EPG fault. Don't know why. It's not pulling stupid amounts of current. So, I don't know what's going on there. There's not another current or another voltage issue or anything or a phase drop out. This, uh, Whatever an EPG fault is, that I'm trying to uh, rectify. Strange, because it was working fine up until yesterday when I changed the parameters for this motor. Because I wanted to test this motor. Okay, well, I'll put that BFD in this motor. Now all of a sudden, they're getting an EPG fault for some stupid reason. I only changed the. Uh, the um, uh, maximum frequency set at 100 hertz, max as fast as it will go, and that's about all I've done. That's it. Now we're back to how I was, put it back, and it's still doing it. Uh, that EPG fault. What else have? Have. There was an effort for. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Y zero zero, which is your factory reset. Go in there. Right, hang on. Yeah, right, let me go to it. And set. And now it's reset the drive. See, and it does this. It does this little count up to 100, and it just says, okay, end. Let me save that setting, so that's a factory reset I'm doing now.
<coughs> and now it should be reset. That's been reset. Now we go back to where I was. There's my frequency set at 50 hertz. There we go, so does it. Wonder why. Everything's been reset there, so does it. Interesting how it does that. Let's just again hold it down. EPG gets you the fault code where you were. Hold down the reset button. Press it a bunch of times. Or well, escape actually, I think it was. Hold down the set button. Just does this. Have. Interesting. I have to really look at the manual what that actually means. Have. Let's have. Interesting. And an EPG fault again. Definitely a more complicated VFD this one to uh, set up. I actually can't get these anymore. I've got the uh, MJB power train drives, but they're not cheap anymore. They're expensive now. Expensive stuff. EPG. All that means is just, as I said, EPG fault. That's what the manual tells me. Interesting. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Hopefully someone who's familiar with these powertrain drives has more of an idea. As I was saying, this needs more fine tuning. So it was working fine even after I fixed it. It was still working fine. I'll use it on that fan off camera. It worked quite well. And um, yeah, now it's just giving me an EPG fault for some reason. The ethernet, it's got nothing to do with hardware or phase or certainly other fault because I checked for that. The, uh, if it was a phase dropout or something, or anything like the earth along with a DC bus or the IGP output, I will have a specific fault code for that. The drive's not giving me any of those fault codes, so it's something, EPG must be a, um, something to do with a firmware or something on the drive. I'm guessing. It was EE prom error. I would say EEP, but it hasn't said that. So EE prom be fine. And then an EPG must be something with all the settings or something somewhere. So I said the manual just says literally just says EPG fault, but it doesn't say what that fault actually means in the manual. So you have to find someone who's more familiar with these powertrain drives to see what that actually is. As I said, the manual is not saying anything. It just says, literally, it just says EPG fault, and I can't find any reference to it anyway. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.